Bags, bags, bags. <laughs> we all love them. Heck, we've been loving them for over 3,500 years, back when the first cotton carrier bag was spun in ancient Egypt. But in a mere three and a half millennia, shopping technology has improved by almost 2,000%. Presenting the plastic bag. It's cheap, available, and able to hold 2,500 times its own weight. Oh! 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 But where does it all come from? Plastic is an oil-based material, and the process involved in making plastic bags produces chemical pollutants. In the United States alone, an estimated 12 million barrels of oil are used each year to produce the 100 billion plastic bags our country uses annually. What do bags do for us? Shoppers in the United States use 100 billion plastic bags every year, and the cost gets passed on to the consumers. Four billion dollars worth of higher prices are attributed to the cost of plastic bags. In the United Kingdom, the average household spends 470 pounds per year on packaging, which is roughly 923 U.S. dollars. The average Canadian uses 537 plastic bags every year, impacting the cost of shopping in ways similar to the United States. Globally, over 500 billion plastic bags are used each year, which is roughly 1 million every minute. But that's a lot! Where does it all go? That depends on who you ask. The United Kingdom Carrier Bag Consortium claims that plastic bags are recycled at a rate of 80%, but that statistic counts plastic bags that are reused once, as a trash liner, for example, as being recycled. The BBC only uses the term recycled to refer to what happens after the bags are thrown away and estimates that recycling rates are actually less than one half of one percent. The fact is that the low quality of the plastics used and the threat of ink contamination make recycling the bags difficult. More often, the bags end up in landfills. Plastic bags have the half-life of radioactive lead. It takes over 1,000 years for them to decompose. However, the lack of oxygen at most landfills prevent them from decomposing at all. Landfills aren't the only destination for these bags. In addition to an unknown quantity that gets transported to third world countries, whose lax laws allow the bags to be incinerated and contaminate the atmosphere, an estimated 6.6 .6 billion pounds of plastic enters the waste stream each year in the United States alone. The litter is widespread. Plastic bags have been found washed up in remote areas as far north as Spitsbergen and as far south as the Falklands. In fact, the British Antarctic Survey says they'll be washing up in Antarctica within the decade. The presence of plastic bags in the ocean poses problems for marine life both big and small, which often mistake the toxic bags for food. In 2002, a mink whale washed up on a Normandy beach with 1,800 pounds of plastic bags and other packaging in its stomach, roughly the weight of a Volkswagen Beetle. This is crazy! What's being done to stop this? A few countries are passing legislation against plastic bags. In Ireland, a tax of 15 cents per bag has decreased their presence in landfills by 95%. Bangladesh has also passed laws giving 10-year prison sentences to anyone manufacturing plastic bags. Some corporations, although not very many, have also taken action. IKEA charges customers 5 cents per bag, though they make no claim as to where the money is going. So what's the solution? Well, isn't it obvious? Use a cloth bag, no matter how ugly they look. 